Hey Parasites, welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog, and today we're going to talk about the box office numbers for the opening weekend for Venom The Last Dance. This movie released in 27 regions, I believe, worldwide, and so we got the domestic market and we got in an international market, and internationally this movie pulled in about 120 to 125 million dollars, so pretty good. It did pretty well in Korea and China and a couple other places. Um, not as well as, you know, the previous movies have done, at least for the first film with Venom in China, did much, much stronger and had legs over there. Uh, but this one, we'll have to see if it has legs and if it'll climb. And like I said, other regions around the world also opened up simultaneously to bring the total to 125. And then domestically, it made about 51 to 52 million here, which was under expectations. A couple weeks ago, some of the trades were saying that this movie was projected to make about $80 million, which would have put it on par with the first Venom movie, which made 80 million domestically opening weekend, and then went on internationally and worldwide to you know total 856 million. So it had legs and people were talking about it and people just out of sheer interest and just name brand you know recognition of the character went out to see the film. But I feel like some of that goodwill has been dying since that first film a little bit. The second one got delayed. Obviously, a lot of movies did during the early years of COVID. Um, but then the second one came out and it performed around $560 million, roughly, in the total worldwide market in the theaters. And But it still did $90 million opening weekend. So it actually, the second one did better opening weekend than the first movie did. So that was a sign that it was going to climb higher, possibly. But then it kind of petered out and it didn't have some of the international places that it normally released in with the first film that where it made a big splash like China it didn't have a lot of that for the second film so there was some things you could excuse uh, but it still did really well because it made close to 600 million dollars and that was its budget back and then some the budget for these movies the first one I think was like 80 to 90 million dollars the second one was about 100 million dollars and this one is 120 so for this one to open at 51 million which is 40 million less than let there be carnage that's not the best, you know, uh, especially when projections were saying it was going to do better um, because those are very they're wrong at times, but they they always try to factor in a realistic, you know, number to to this film. So for it to underperform that by at least 30 million from the first Venom movie, it definitely missed a mark for sure. So what that will mean in the long run, we'll have to see. We'll do, you know, future box office reports in the you know as the weeks come out so second week third week we'll talk about it and we'll see what the drop-offs are like and we can kind of predict where this movie will probably end up around that time but for now a little bit of a slow start or a weak start for this movie which is a shame it is fun but i i saw you know there are reviews out there that are really trashing this movie um and that's been the case for a lot of these venom movies but i i'm seeing a lot of it for this one and it, it's it's a shame because I feel like this film had potential and it tried to squeeze in a lot of comic lore and I don't want to get into details of that. We'll do a spoiler discussion coming up for sure. If you want to see my out of theater reaction, you can go check that out. I'll put a link to it down below. And I'll also put a link down below to the articles that I'm basing this off of, which is Hollywood Reporter and Variety. They're the ones who came out with these numbers. So I'll put links to those down below too. But we'll get into the spoilers and discussions and all that stuff about what details of the movie I liked and didn't like and, and why maybe I feel like these movies kind of lost that uh, goodwill that they gained with that first one where everyone was just kind of like, oh, this is just fun. It kind of feels like an early 2000s comic book movie and, and there's something about that that makes it separate from these other films. But we would just hope that in the next one when they have Carnage, they focus on more details and get some of these other things right because, you know, like Joker and some other big villains for characters, a lot of people had high hopes for Carnage and I think a lot of people were let down with that movie. I personally liked it. I liked it a little less than the first one, but I still enjoyed it overall. And I think Woody Harrelson's great, but I see like a lot of people's kind of vision for carnage just wasn't met. And while I feel like that can sometimes be unfair to filmmakers to do exactly what one fan wants or one group of fan wants, uh, because that could alienate, you know, the mass audiences. It's still like, I don't know, maybe they should have tried <laughs> that with that one in hindsight, you know. Uh, but still, it was it was cool, and I still liked Woody Harrelson. Um, but my thoughts of that movie aside, I think overall the masses kind of started to drop off from this franchise, and it seems like a lot of them aren't showing up for this one, at least for opening weekend. So in time, we'll see if it increases or not. So let me know down below what you think of these numbers, you know, total overall domestically and worldwide, uh, internationally, we have $175 million total off a $120 million budget. So if it just drops 
you know, worldwide and domestic next weekend, and it might open in some other regions too. It could still climb over 300 million, and that would at least make its money back and, you know, maybe some of its <laughs> marketing budget back. But they've been marketing the living crap out of this movie. I mean, we did a whole video on it recently where they're on like hot ones, they're on all these things. They're, you know, they're putting themselves out there. They're getting big celebrities, you know, uh, to endorse them. They're doing uh, sports things like crossovers. They got little robots running around. Uh, they got ads, you know, they got, they're doing a lot of stuff. Um, they had an event at New York Comic Con um, and then the premiere, obviously. So, and they're going around the world doing interviews right now. And there's just a lot going on that the, you know, the train has not stopped. This movie is going to be pushing for marketing for the next couple weeks, you know, as it releases in other regions and other territories around the world. So there's still a lot more to come from this and hopefully more money to be made at some point. But I would think that this film and Sony would hope that this movie gets up to that $500 million marker that at least Let There Be Carnage got. Because if it at least lands around there somewhere, then they're, you know, not at a total loss. But starting off this low domestically, does hurt a little bit so i'm anxious to see what's going to happen and hopefully we'll have some good news to report next week on our better news i should say because this isn't the worst news but it's certainly it's it's a little underwhelming the way this movie's performing um on on some level but at least the people who are watching it and liking it they are being very vocal about that and they are sharing their thoughts online just as the people who aren't liking it so it'll be curious to see who what side gets more people to listen to them to go see it or not because really what this movie needs is more people to just go give it a chance um, and make up their own minds. Uh, but I think a lot of times, like I say this before too, I can watch a trailer and, and know if I'm going to really like a movie or not, or if it's worth waiting for, you know, a, a streaming service or something like that. And I think a lot of people are like that as well. And so they might not just have seen anything from this that hooked them in, but uh, it was fun. It's cool to see on the big screen, especially the final act, even though it's kind of a, a mess at times um it still was kind of fun to watch and we'll get into spoilers in a future video very soon so I'll, I'll avoid that you know talking about the details of the movie itself and just focus on the numbers here which is a total of 175 after the three four day opening weekend so let me know what you think down below of that and i'd love to hear your thoughts of whether you think this movie will have legs where you think it'll hit next where it might you know have a nice spike in it I'd love to hear those thoughts down below and check out those articles. I'll put Variety and Hollywood Reporter down below as well in my video if you want to see my out of theater reaction. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and we'll see you in the future. Peace.